The village looks like it's been pillaged. By the look of the door, someone broke in violently. This whole place has been ransacked. What happened here? Were all the villagers captured by the Water Wife and the Dead Tide Fleet? But why would the Dead Tide Fleet take the villagers? They're already undead. Real people need to eat and sleep and can't work forever. Well, there are never enough workers. And they also need more sea stingers. We always send their spies to work in Darkstone Cave. The Dead Tide fleet has failed to capture Rustport so many times. Maybe they need more men, or they just want to vent their anger somehow. But it's a whole village! So many houses! So many people! Our casualties have also been high. Our brothers and sisters would be lucky if their bodies found their way to the shore and were buried properly. Those who became fish food or ended up at the bottom of the sea are too numerous to count. If the Dead Tide fleet did this, then no. Let's split up and search separately. I don't want to waste any more time, but figuring out what happened here may give us clues on what the Dead Tide fleet is planning, and help us measure their current manpower. I plan to slice open Hodgkin's chest, rip out his heart, and see if it's as black as his soul. Magister, I can't sit idly by and watch tragedy unfold here. If there are any survivors... No, even if we can find some of their keepsakes, it'll comfort the souls of those who have lost their lives here. For those of us that are alive, for those of us that have survived, we must do this for their sake. Thank you, Magister. Let's search the village. So you were here. What are you doing here, Sonia? Just searching. Have you checked out the well in the village? There are sounds coming from the well. And it's not the sound of water. I don't know. Maybe it's crying or laughing. We've walked around the whole village and we haven't seen a single person. It has to be the sound of the wind. 
What if the well went dry? The sewers of Rustport are filled with dirt and filth. I wonder how many people take the chance to hide smuggled goods or valuables underground. If they did the same thing here... Then let's go down the well and take a look! What if there really are survivors? It must be fate! Fresh specimens delivered right to my door! It's the Dead Tide Fleet. What? How did they end up here? Weren't the villagers hiding here? Stay focused. Don't get distracted. Come here, specimens! The chief researcher is waiting for our results. Let me join the fray. There are guards here. This isn't a refuge for the villagers. This place belongs to the Dead Tide Fleet. But this is right below Greenbrook. What have they done to the villagers? If they specifically chose this place, then the Dead Tide Fleet must be secretly hiding something here. Yes. I finally found their base of operations. Come along. Let's find out. Actually, from a pair of linen pants. Fishermen usually wear these when they're out at sea. Fishermen? But we found this among the mud and bones. Could it be that all the villagers who disappeared are here? Let's focus on our target. If the Dead Tide fleet is defeated, these tragedies will never happen again. Let's go. They're waiting for us ahead. Me join the fray. grave. Hello? Do you understand us? No, I don't think it understands us. Is this... 
Pippi, don't ask. She's just a lost soul, a spirit. She's not actually here. Lost soul. Why is there a spirit of a child here? What did the dead tide fleet? Mother, is that you? I hear a voice. Your mother is not here. Is there something you want to tell us? Hide and seek. Yes, let's play hide and seek. I won't make a sound. I won't let those bad ones know. You must come. Find me. She floated away! Let's keep up. This won't be a simple game of hide and seek. Smell of decay. Disgusting. Workstations? Glass? Specialized equipment? I've seen rooms like this in the Serene Lyceum, but never one that gave off such an evil feeling. Huh. This is a laboratory. There are spirits out there. And the walking dead are among us. Check everything. There has to be some important information here. That document, what does it say? What is the Dead Tide fleet planning? Unfortunately, I'm not very familiar with these technical terms. According to what's written here, the researchers are trying to separate the soul of a creature and fuse it with other physical bodies. The Dead Tide fleet has done this experiment many times with little success. However, a few have actually succeeded. The report says they need more specimens. More specimens? Wait, do you mean the villagers? The Carmine Whispers have sacrificed too much for me to turn away now. Those blasted Greyborn. They clamor for eternity. I'll have their rotten bones buried forever at the bottom of the sea! I'm here. I hid well, didn't I? I want to go home, though. Let's go home. There's a small dock with a boat. Rest in peace, child. Thank you. Yes, we're out! 
The sea breeze is blowing from the east. This is the secret passageway from the Dead Tide Lab. It should be at the back of the Ashen Bay. Their headquarters must be up ahead. Let's go. While Sinbad is keeping them busy, we'll hit them from behind. Lots of guards patrolling around it. With that side of a defense, it proves we're in the right place. We should avoid the main entrance and find another way in. like it's trying to communicate with us. It was probably captured by the Dead Tide fleet for experiments. Poor thing. Shoo, little one. Return to where you came from. monster is gone. Did it return to the sea? Leave him be. The heavily guarded camp of the Dead Tide fleet is just up that hillside. 
I've circled around and reached the other side. I'm not sure if that creature did it on purpose, but it was a huge help for us. Now we can attack their weakly defended rear. Get ready, everyone. Let's proceed with caution. and keep your voices down. What's wrong? Shh. There's noise coming from the camp ahead. How can you be calmly doing research at a time like this? And why not, my dear Bonnie? Wars inevitably conclude in peace. Their outcomes, predictable. But the pursuit of the unknown Ah, that is where true excitement lies. Put down the vial. Listen up. The Chain Keeper is maneuvering with the main fleet to the east. Once we deploy the small boats, they'll fire warning shots, and the main ship will steer away at full sail. Those rats from Rustport have definitely changed captains. This isn't their usual style. So... Those incessantly panting monkeys have finally attained some measure of wisdom. A fascinating revelation indeed. Why, pray tell, should I hold my critical experiments for such petty concerns? Oh, you don't understand. A big battle is coming and their captain has changed. So that brings up the question, where did their previous captain go? One might assume they are concocting some special scheme against our dear captain. You finally understand, so stop obsessing over your little experiments. If we lose this battle, you'll end up with nothing. Come with me. This isn't a suggestion, it's an order. I've thought of a way to hit that fly buzzing around the sea, but I'll need your help. Quickly now, before that filthy ship ruins our captain's mood. We'll drag those escaped rats out from their corners, inch by inch. Did you hear that? That Greyborn lady said Sinbad's maneuvering with their fleet. Bonnie. You don't know her well, but this is a chance I can't pass up. I've faced her in battle many times. Besides commanding in battles, She's also a formidable archer. From my previous clashes with her, she's able to precisely target navigators or the helmsmen. She's a tough opponent. It takes just a single second of chaos before the Graveborn set up grappling hooks and rope ladders, turning sea battles into hand-to-hand -hand combat. Many of my crew have fallen at her hands. If we can take her down here, it will be a major blow to Hodgkin. You look like you're about to start breathing fire, like a dragon! We came here to gather intel on the dead Tide Fleet. If we act recklessly, we'll be exposed. I know. But I will get my way someday. There has been too much blood spilled. My fallen whispers must be avenged. S someone distract her. By the way, why don't we try using the magic communicator Hugin gave us? We can let Sinbad know what we overheard. We should warn them to prepare for those two. They seem very menacing. Let's contact him! Ahem, Sinbad, are you there? Can you hear me? I see. Too. Sinbad, it's us. 
It got cut off. Hugin's gadgets usually work great, but this one is still being tested. It's all right. Let's put our faith in Sinbad. I doubt anything bad will happen to him. He's got the luck of a cat with nine lives. We need to find a way through the patrol area and catch up with those two Graveborn. Let's see if we can overhear some more crucial information. She couldn't have vanished into thin air. Stay alert. shadows have finally showed themselves. That chat back at the camp was just a ploy to lure us here? I figured your brains had decayed long ago in the seawater. Dear Bonnie, do you not see the perfect opportunity to test our latest technology? You don't need to jump in. I can handle this alone. Such a waste. With these fresh bodies at our disposal, Not launching a surprise attack on us earlier was your biggest blunder. Let me join the fray. The esteemed chief researcher of the Dead Tide Fleet offer you all a gift. That thing he's holding. It's the same one Hodge can use to control Nara. Allow me to correct you. Nara is ours. Every fiber of her being, from soul to patchwork body, belongs to the Dead Tide Fleet. This little one beside me now 
is a mere defective specimen. It's regrettable. Even with the sacred artifact's power, creations like Nara and Bonnie defy mass production. Shut your mouth! I don't expect you to grasp the greatness of immortality. Suppress your base instincts and see reason. Stop randomly howling like a wild monkey. I have very high expectations for you all. I'm short on experimental resources, and these marine creatures offer limited research potential. With you all here, we'll have secured valuable human bodies. And two rodents. <laughs> I'm quite giddy to think about what kind of tests I'll run on you all. Five. Handle them gently, little one. That mage's body is invaluable for our studies. Magister, be careful! It's coming! is why I hate people who use magic. I'm not talking about you guys. Let's set sail towards the Immortal. This time, we'll definitely crush the Dead Tide fleet and disperse the fog around Rustport. Vigilant, Simbad. The Immortal has spotted you. No need to remind me. It's all part of the plan. Ward the Immortal now while you can. I'll keep him distracted. Hodgkin won't be fooled that easily. If you start getting all showy, Simbad, he'll definitely be suspicious. Magister, time's running short. Let's board the ship and move fast. Come on, Sonia. I'm doing my best to open up.
You cling like barnacles to a ship's hull. Even if you're scraped off, you grow back quickly. How lonesome. How dare you, Graveborn? Don't insult our master. <laughs> Admirable courage, little hamster. Let your master commend you. Your bravery has granted you the privilege of facing me in a duo. That is, assuming you survive. Are you guys okay? Simbad, how did you get here? I can't use magic, so I swam over. You fool! That was such a risky move. Would you rather I watched from afar while you fought? There's no way I'd do that. You should be providing backup, not... Relax, Sonya. I've steered the chain keeper to a safe distance, and Yugen's helping at the helm. If you have time to nag me, use that time instead to pray he doesn't sink the ship. I just hope we'll all get out safe. There's no need to be so pessimistic. We're so close to the end now. We've got this. Why don't you comfort her? She seems really tense for some reason. Thank you for the compliment, but... Stop overthinking it, all right? We'll definitely take down Hodgkin. The deck is broken. Instead of dawdling here, let's find another way across. Join the play. Catch Hodgkin. We'll have to bypass this broken deck and head down. We should be able to find another ladder. The immortal is most likely riddled with traps. Be careful, everyone. for living souls, feeding on their screams as they turn to ash. Many of my crew have fallen to these green flames. Magister, do you think you can extinguish them? Magister, no! It's too dangerous! Hold on, everyone! The Serene Lyceum strictly forbids the study of grave calling. Most may just steer clear of it. Let's find another path! We can't risk Magister's reputation getting stained by playing with magic like that. I understand. Let's forget about this path for now, and look elsewhere.
But there's nothing in the drawers except dust. There's something odd about this room. Can't quite put my finger on it. Should we search more thoroughly? The sailor instinct in me is yelling that we'll find something significant. A blank sheet of paper. Is it... useful? Not at all. But, look at what's in my other hand. I also found this! This is a dragon flame spire. It's highly sought after during wars, and it's a super rare item. The flames ignite if you blow lightly on the ring. It's very handy for people who can't use magic. Why would someone use that when matches exist? It's pretty big compared to matches. Those two are completely different. They're supposedly dragon grease at the base. Dragon flames can burn anywhere, even on water. It can burn anywhere, you say? Sonya, did you think of something? Something's felt off to me ever since we entered this study. Call it years of honing my instincts. There are six candelabras arranged symmetrically, but the one by the window isn't lit. I tried to light it, but the wick is damp and it won't catch fire. Exactly. Simbad said the ship is full of traps and various mechanisms. This might unlock one of them. But, but, dragon flame spires are extremely rare. Look at how much dust is accumulated on this one. There's no telling how old it is. Who knows how many uses it has left. My dearest, most wonderful, absolutely favorite fellow travelers. Couldn't we... maybe think of another way? But, hey, be careful with that. It's probably worth a hundred times of what I make it here. Please, light the candle, Magister. was indeed a mechanism. Simbad, give me that blank sheet you found earlier. Here you go. What are you planning to do? Blow your nose? This is serious business. Yes, yes. You're the esteemed leader of the Carmine Whispers. You're always serious. I'm not in the mood for jokes right now, so hush before I smack you. Magister. I think there's something more to this blank sheet of paper. If we heat it with the flame... It's a... wanted poster. Hodgkin. For the theft of the sacred artifact of the Bantus Kingdom. Wanted in all territories. Bantus? There's little information about it. But I do know that it's the mysterious empire of the Greatborns. Huh. I can't believe he's been flaunting that artifact around when it was stolen. If he's got the skills to steal a sacred artifact like that, we shouldn't underestimate him. All right, let's keep moving. look like they're moving something. Chippy smells sulfur. Maybe they're moving cannonballs? 
Or gunpowder? Whatever it is, I think we should wreak some havoc. Hey, buddy. You look tired. Why don't you rest for a bit? Let me join the fray. I'll never tell you nothing. You should just give up now. Yeah, that was pretty much a given. A big oaf like you probably isn't ever invited to tactical meetings. That's bull. I'm the most trustworthy there is. I know everything. But I'm loyal. So I won't tell you anything. <sighs> just admit you know nothing. I promise I'm a good guy. I won't laugh at you. There's always a few overlooked members on every ship. I get it. I've been there. No. I attend all the tactical meetings. They'd never leave me out. Right? Huh. <laughs> Who would believe that? You're just a grunt, delegated to moving explosives. I'm not. The captain sent me to protect a mage here. My job is the most important of them all. <laughs> Are we playing how we can lie the most? Here's my attempt. I'm Hodgkin's spy, planted in Rustport. You... you... I'm not lying. The captain values that mage because he's the only one who could open certain doors on this ship. So that means I'm super important too, to be guarding it. Oh, -ho. that's quite useful. Thanks, Octopus Head. Now it's time to go night night. Simbad. <laughs> You've got a knack for this. You gotta be a smooth talker if you do what I do for a living. All right, let's find this mage. Let me join the fray. You look smarter than the other CODs on here. Someone like you wouldn't be foolish enough to trust your crewmates, yeah? They're already done for. And you know, those wily bastards sold you out before they kicked the bucket. If you don't want to meet the same fate, you'd better cooperate. What do you want to know? One of your little friends so that you can open those special doors. <laughs> Indeed, I can. But you all rushed me so fast. I accidentally dropped the key into the cauldron. It's melted by now. There's no way you don't have a spare key. Hand it over. Of course there is, but the spare key's with the captain. You'll have to get it from him, unfortunately. Looks like you're asking for a beating. Calm down, Sinbad. Leave it to our Magister. If we can just forge the key, it'll be a piece of cake for our Magister Merlin.
Let me join the fray. My bastard! He's just toying with us! Stay calm. You make more careless mistakes if you're riled up. He's afraid of us. That's why he's pulling underhanded tricks like this. His defeat was sealed from the moment he began fearing us. Quite unselfish today, dear. Well, there is something else I want. I want the eyes of that woman over there, Sonia! Nara, wake up! Hodgkin is just using you. Compared to you, who's taking over Rustport? <laughs> You're no better, sister. You also treat lives as mere playthings in your hands. I consider the members of the Carmine Whispers my brothers and sisters. Unlike your twisted loyalty to Hodgkin. <laughs> For me, there are no gangs, no sisters, no trust. You made sure of that 11 years ago. There's just the endless, dark, icy depths of the sea. And death! Nora! You have no chance of winning with the Magister here with us! Yes! Magister Merlin will overcome all! I believe in her! Captain, don't underestimate their strength. No! Let them unleash their full power! Have them witness my magnum opus! An unparalleled marvel of biological engineering! Quiet! Merlin! Thanks to you and your firm, my heart is thundering with wicked glee! Just listen to that howling wind. A storm is brewing. This is my favorite kind of weather! In a few days, what yarns will the sea breeze spin to Rustport? That Hodgkin the dread pirate bested the fabled Merlin? Or that you smash my lifeless bones? Let's sail into the unknown together!
You'll never forget me, Sonya. We must figure out how to deal with the Kraken that Hodgkin summoned. Wait, what? There's no way we can defeat it on our own. It could swipe us halfway across the sea with just one tentacle. We're, we're not even big enough to be a snack. We need Hugin's cannon. Contact him. Hugin. Hugin. Damn it, answer me. Are you saying you have a plan? What is it? I need to go back to Rustport and upgrade Merlin to bed. I just thought of a way to amplify the signal. What the Kraken are you saying? This isn't the time for discussing communicators. We have an actual Kraken to deal with. I know! It's so huge I couldn't miss it in my time. Don't worry. Keep moving forward. There are two cannons ahead. Only when you get there, I'll steer the chain keeper to the other side. The tentacles are about to flip the ship! and a pointed rear. Pointed rear? That's a mistake of the mind! They stole my bloopers and forged it themselves! I can't promise much, but it should bust up a few tentacles! Assuming they didn't cut corners! How am I even supposed to tell if they did? Don't sweat the details! My designs are solid! Sinbad, come back to the Chain Keeper. We'll bombard it from the outside, while the others fire from the Immortal. We'll trap the monster in a crossfire! Buddy, you're kidding, right? How am I supposed to get over there? Jumping into the sea now is like jumping straight to the monster's belly! I'll get closer, and shoot a grappling hook so that you can swing over. You! No! Oh. You're always full of the most harebrained schemes. Whatever. Fine. Worst comes to worst, I'll just become a snack for the fish. The cannons aren't loaded, and we haven't seen any cannonballs. What are we supposed to shoot? My cannons require a special ammo. Magister, please search nearby. They must have hidden them somewhere. A kraken that was summoned seems extremely agitated. And uh, not fully under Hodgkin's control. We need to act fast! Magic! We need magic! 
Miss Mage, you've got to enchant the ammo. It won't pierce the monster otherwise. Enchanting demands focus. Once she begins, she won't be able to fight. Leave it to me. Magister, let me do it. I watched every step you took to enchant Hugin's cannons in the workshop. I learned it all. We have all the enchanting materials here. I want to... I want to be of help to you all. You can do it, Hammy. Sir Chippy will protect you. Phew. I can do this. I'm Magister Merlin's familiar. I'll begin now. Magister, enemies are coming. Let's protect Hammy together. Let me join the fray. Let me join the fray. The battlefield, a state of art.
He tried to control the sea, only to be swallowed by it. A fittingly ironic end. There's no time to dwell on that! Sinbad, we gotta run! The Immortals sinking and creating a whirlpool! We can't get caught in it! On it! We've won! So there's no way I'd let us die with that madman! Hold on tight! Full sail! Port side! Next stop, Rustport! There is so much to do, but Lucas said he'll help with it all. I'll be very busy soon, but before that, I would like to sincerely thank you. You've lifted the fog over Rustport. Merlin, I finally understand the meaning of that title. The rest of the Dead Tide fleet has fled, and the Water Whites have lost that person. With the Water Whites leaderless and dispersed, chaos could ensue once more if they're left unchecked. I'm inclined to take them in if they're willing. In any case, we the Carmine Whispers will safeguard this hard-won peace. Once again, my deepest respect to you. You hold an esteemed title, but when I sing of your deeds to the world, I will tell them your true name. From now on, your deeds will echo through Rustport's skies, Magister. Now, please allow me to take care of one last personal matter. Nara, I will cherish your memory in this way. Did you hear? People on the streets are calling us heroes. I never thought a drifter like me could be a hero. This feels like a dream. So can we still be friends? Because I'm not into slackers or larger than life heroes. Hugin, my friend, we have a special bond forged through battle. In your presence, I'm just Sinbad. And if you think the name Sinbad is too unremarkable, you can just tell others that I'm a captain. <laughs> All right, I'll boast that I fixed Captain Sinbad ship. <laughs> Hodgkin and his crew are sleeping with the fishes now. May they rest peacefully. With the fog lifted, the sea routes to Rustport can finally return to normal. Magister, what's next for you? Great. With you around, I won't have to worry about anything. So, uh, tell me, Sinbad, are you going to set sail on the chain key before another adventure? Cause if you are, you gotta be patient! The ship still needs repairs after that last skirmish! Got it, got it. I'll hang out in Rustport for a while. After we repair the chain keeper, I'll consult the map and spin the compass. If it points to adventure, I'll sail forth. It could be next week, or in a couple of months. But one thing's for sure now. No matter the storms ahead, as long as I follow my heart, I'll never lose my way.